I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog. We are here at day three, which is the second round held at Vista Del Camino, and I'm meeting with, again, one of the co-leaders in Will Schusterick. Will, how are you doing today? Doing good. Will, you're doing good. What did you shoot that round? 48. A 48. What did you shoot the first time you were out here? 49. A 49. So you got to be relatively happy with that. Yeah, it was okay. Any, uh, any hiccups or any major issues out there? Did you have a bad hole or a good hole or anything that stands out? I had one four in the back on hole 10. I missed like a, probably like a 10 or 15 footer. Um, but on the next hole, I probably had a 260 foot sidearm throw in for Eagle, which is nice. Uh, but I missed a couple putts out there. I probably, I left a couple strokes out there, but it's a pretty good score. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, you need to tell me or let us all know when you're going to throw in from like 300 feet so uh, so everybody can get camera action. I was following the next hole and of course everyone erupted and uh, you, are, are you becoming well known for throwing in those super long eagle shots? I mean, you know, you throw it a little bit too hard on a good line and it goes in and that's kind of all that, all that happened. And the basket got in the way and the uh, it, was, the way. it was a good thing. So as they're watching various footage from uh, the entire day out here at Vista, um, it, it ended a little bit somber out here. Um, there was some, we'll call it drama. It, um, describe for everyone what happened on hole 16 out here. Just some bad luck happens and actually I think the basket is a little crooked and actually leans one way and Nico first had a jump putt that hit the basket and it rolled out of bounds and then you had another one that hit in the dead center of the basket and it rolled out of bounds somehow and you know it just comes down you know, it's it's really nothing that you could ever control. But, no. You know, when it comes down to it, the basket was is a little crooked if you go look at it. This one's a little crooked, but sure, things just happen. Yeah, it uh, and I'll, I'll show those in slow mo, especially the second putt. That was dead center, right in the heart of the chains. How it popped out and then got up and rolled all the way out of bounds. Um, everybody stepped up for the most part, got hole 17, and then on 18, it probably wasn't quite the finish you guys were looking for. What are we looking for tomorrow out at Vista, or I'm sorry, out at Fountain with you in the lead? Uh, we'll have a little earlier start, I think, because we're making a cut, so uh, hopefully there's not as many backups. We had probably a three-group backup on the last four or five holes on every single hole, so it's, it was a really long round. I'm hoping that tomorrow won't be as long of a round, so you know that's one thing to hopefully look forward to. And, sure. You know, sure. Hopefully no wind also. Yeah, I know that they've cut 50% uh, of the field. So as you said, they're going to move things up a little earlier. And these last few holes that I've shown uh, were pretty much out here in the dark. I mean, you guys could see, but it definitely was a little dusk out here. Yeah. Um, street lights came on. Street lights came on. So you're tied with Ricky Waisaki. And uh, it looks like maybe Double G and... Uh, Greg Barsby, I think, have jumped onto the lead card with you. They're at 34 under and 35 under. You're sitting at 37. Uh, do you have a number in mind for tomorrow, or do you just want to go out and play your heart out? Pretty much the same, yeah. Same thing I always do when I go out to a course. I never think about a score before I go out there. You never know the conditions. You never know what might be going on. You could have a bad break like we saw on, on, on 16 here. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Uh, I'd like to see you throw in some eagles tomorrow. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Hopefully we've got them on tape. Uh, that's about all we have. Uh, Vista, last question for you. Vista or Fountain, which course do you prefer? Um, that's a tough one. I mean, it's probably Vista, just so I don't have to throw as many discs in the water. <laughs> well, you don't, nobody has to throw discs in the water, but apparently you're doing pretty well uh, at not doing that this week. So, out here at Vista Del Camino, tomorrow is the final day championship Saturday for the Memorial Championships. This is your co-leader in Will Schusterick, and uh, I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and we're heading tomorrow to the Fountain.